Do you want your site to be indexed on Google? If Google does not index your website, then your site will be invisible, which means it will not show up for any search query. If you want your site to be indexed on Google or to be show up in Google search results, all you need is to be indexed. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to instantly index your website on Google search engine. Let's get straight to the business. You are welcome back to my channel. My name is Adesope Ridwan. Kindly subscribe to my channel and also click on bell notification icon. So as to I want you to check this. Let me show you this website. Despite it is a website URL, let me try to search this URL on Google. Now you can see this site is not even showing up. Talk less of uh, if I want to show up the post from the website. The root website URL is not even indexed. Now, I'm be using these sites for this tutorial. Now, the first thing you will do if you want your site to be indexed on Google search results, let's get it started from um, the Google Cloud Platform. Now, this is the Google Cloud Platform. I'm going to provide the link as you see on your screen and I'm, also, I'm going to provide it on the um, description of this video. Now, when you visit this uh, Google Cloud platform, what, what you will do, you have to create a project. So I have two projects there already, but you will have to create a new project for this website. So you click on create project. Now, this is the project name. So you just put the name of your website or any name that you can remember that it is being attached to the website. Now, um, Leave this as no organization and just click on create. Yeah. The project is still creating. Now the, we have successfully created the project, right? Now the next thing you will do, just click on this next. And make sure that it is being selected here. Click on next to just to enable the API. So click on enable API. Now the API has been successfully enabled. This is the first steps you are going to take. Now that our API has been successfully enabled for this our project, then the step two now is to create a Google Surface account. Now go to the cloud under the uh, google service account i'm also i will also provide the um url for this uh this one too now i have two projects what you have to do just refresh the page or after immediately you open google service account it will show all the projects you have created on the google cloud platform now i'm going to choose this one that i've recently created so when you select it the next thing you will do is um, we have to uh, create the service account for these uh, projects we have created in the Google Cloud Platform. Click on create service account. Now under the service account, you have to put uh, the service name. Now it will automatically generate the service ID for you. Then um, the next thing here also, you have to provide the description. Just put any description you can remember. Now, next thing is just create and continue. Then after that, just leave this place like this and click on done. Now, after you've uh, done with this, it will generate uh, an email for you I will later show you you can copy this email somewhere or uh, then also you can come back later to see it uh, but you can just keep it you can keep it I will just put it on my notepad to keep it let me just put this on my notepad yeah now next thing here you we have to generate the um, we have to manage uh, our API keys. Just click manage key. Now, 
now click on add key then click on create new key now you are going to mark this json so when you mark this json after you create it will download a json file now it has downloaded the json file for our project now after you've done with this we have successfully done with this stage two now let's go to the step theory so the step three here is just to connect your website to um google search console so if you have not yet added your site to google search console all you have to have to do is uh, this is the site i wanted to add which has not been indexed on google search results just click copy here then you come to your google search console i'm going to use this method uh, because of time that we take for me to just add these on my uh, domain dns but i will later show you how you can do this later then you click on continue it will need to verify um the the site it will need to verify it so what you have to do you have to download the uh, html file yeah so i've downloaded it now let me quickly go to my uh, control panel so that i can just upload it to verify the um i'm the owner of the domain that is the domain ownership <laughs> um what you will just come to your file manager here to upload the domain ownership with or if already done you've already know how to do this to verify just keep this part um, um but i will just do this in the case of people that don't know how to do this now i'm going to choose my domain which is uh, xio.net now this is my domain uh, the root folder of my uh, website now i have to upload the downloaded uh, HTML file again what I'm trying to do here is I want to verify domain ownership for my uh, for my web uh, search console now this is the file um, do have downloaded one before that's why it puts copy of one this is the file yeah now it has successfully uploaded. Now let's come back to our search console to verify this domain. Now domain ownership has just successfully verified. Now you have to go to the property. So when you come to the properties, you will observe that uh, the site has not been indexed. Now what we do, just come to the settings of your uh, search console when you come to the settings uh, here okay sorry yeah then you come to user permission so now you are going to add new user so the you have to enter the email address of the user here so which is the email address we have copied in our google service account or, the, or you can come back here and copy it from the details here they will provide you with the details them with permissions then from there you can see the email again now um just pasted it here on our google search user email put the email here here you have to put owner then you had it now it has been successfully added we have done with the uh, step three the last step here is we come to our dashboard wordpress dashboard then we have to install a plugin known as a uh, instant index so here click on add new plugin now on this just search for instant index now you can see the instant index here just click install now
Now we have successfully in installed our instant index. Now we have to activate it. Then uh, after successfully activation, so just open the uh, instant index settings here. So from the settings, now these are the things we are going to put. Now this is our website, already fetch our website. Then you click on Google API settings. So inside this API settings, this place will be left blank. Now, what you have to do, you just upload the JSON files we downloaded earlier in our Google Surface account. That JSON files we downloaded by the time we are creating the uh, se uh, secret key, uh, API key, sorry. Now, when you double click this, then you mark this, you want it to index instantly index your post and pages. Now, also you can just mark on media too, such as your pic uh, uh, pictures. Now, for Google image search, now just click on save changes. Then it's going to load the code here. Now, the next thing is we have to test it. So, um, so you just come to search console here. So, if it is successfully connected. So this is, is the place we are going to see. Now here, just click send to API. If it is show successful here, now success means it has been successfully connected to the to the search console. So any time from any moment from now, search engine is going to crawl in a very high speed to crawl our website so that it can index it. Uh, mostly other posts that we'll be posting as from now is going to be indexed immediately, highest five minutes sometimes, depending on your server speed. So um, sometime two minutes and sometimes it can take to up to 10 minutes. Now, and all those, uh, uh, your posts that you already posted earlier, so you have to do this type of things there. Now you just realize that all this one that have not been indexed, um, you can just, uh, if it is only one, just click instant index. Let me open it on new tab. Um, and it's going to bring the post you want to index. Now you have to send it to the API and immediately it's set sources. So, it won't take much time before it started ranking. And if you want to do it on multiple domain, I mean on multiple posts, sorry. So just select those one that you want to index instantly. Just select them. Let's see, these are the one that I just want to select instantly. Now, um, what we do is just after highlighting them, just select the bulk action and click on index. Now, it will load all these uh, URL here, then you just send to API. And if you are removing it from Google index, just select remove URL. But we normally put it here if you want to update or you want to publish new URL on a, a Google search consoles. So these are the, uh, this is all about this tutorial and immediately you just done with this one believe me in a short period of time all your url we started index on google search engine thanks you for listening to this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on bell notification icon so as to get updated anytime i release new videos thank you